can we please stop enabling Bill Cosby? First, on Father's Day, he's tweeting that he's America's dad. No, sir, you are not America's dad. He's the Huxable's America's dad. You're the guy in jail. And second, now you're going around giving inspirational speeches to prisoners. Does that speech include telling people not to assault people? Because if not, I don't really want to hear your speech. You can't tell other people to be responsible if you ain't responsible. So for now, just sit your ass down and be still and do your time. Bill Cosby, thank you. I Black Coffee starts now. He's black I'm coffee. Like I'm Mark Levine Hill, and my Levine. views only reflect my own. <laughs> Be sure to use the hashtag Woo. Black Coffee Live to sound off on today's show. And we really want to hear from you on today's question <laughs> of the day, which is: Should you tell your coworkers your salary? Is that the solution to getting equal pay for equal work? <laughs> Drop your comments now, and we'll read them throughout the show. Now, not only am I joined by the lovely and fabulous Gia Peppers, and Say something positive <laughs> about me. Okay, I'm gonna try. Before we square I'm, up. I'm also joined by Jameer Pond, who is sitting here. What? That's not positive. That's, that's, that's all I have. Positive. That's all I got. That I'm sitting here. But most importantly, I am joined She's crazy. by a legend. Yes. Oh she is god. in the building. Legend. Oh my god. A young legend. Yeah. An icon. Yeah. Who has been seen on your movie screen, your Ooh. TV screen. You've Ooh. seen her in the classic movie Boomerang. You see her on her new show on OWN. It's called Ambitions. Yes. Please bow down for the one, the only, mm -hmm. Robin Gibbons. Yeah. Can I hold your hands? Okay, wait a minute. You just did so, so much. much. It was a lot. Like two minutes. Right. Comment on whatever you want. So, so like you've just got to catch me up. Because okay. I don't know. You know, I've been out like you know talking totally about understood. ambitions. So, are you telling me that Bill Cosby, like Father's Day, was tweeting that he's not? Yeah, he said, hey, 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 uh -huh. America's dad here. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh -huh. America's dad here just. Wanting to say oh, happy no. Father's Day okay. from me to you right. and as all America's the fathers. Dad. As oh. America's Still. father. Oh. Live from the penitentiary. <laughs> no. He didn't say that, but he was <laughs> live, live from, from the, the penitentiary. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right. And I'm like, that's a little weird, but yeah. you know, whatever. Right. But now apparently he's going around uh, different parts of the prison he's in. Right. I believe he's in SAI Phoenix in, in Pennsylvania, meeting with different uh, groups, motivating young men, telling them what to do when they get out on the street, telling them how to be more responsible when they get out on the street. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little weird for me. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's weird. I mean, I guess you can say you're trying to make the most of um, your situation. Yes. You know? Maybe. I'm just trying to look at the bright side. Okay. Okay. I mean, if that's possible. Maybe we find ourselves in a difficult situation and you're trying to think of how you can be useful to others. I don't know. I agree that it's strange. Yeah. It's strange. Yeah. No, I, definitely I agree America's you. best dad part is weird. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, it makes you uncomfortable a little bit. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Because yeah. he's dismissing. But he was always dismissive during the entire trial. Like, he was like, y'all, yeah. y'all tripping. Mm -hmm. right. It wasn't that big of a deal. It's like, no, right. kind of was a big deal. Right. Cliff yeah. Huxtable is America's dad. Wonderful guy. Yeah. I love Cliff. Yeah. But then you get Bill, and yeah, it's that's... like, this is disappointing. It's a reality that we have to deal with. Well, so it's I'm tough for like, us all, right? right. Yeah. It makes us all uncomfortable. Right. But difficult things make us uncomfortable. Yeah. So. Right. Exactly. Talk about something happy. Let's happy. talk about something happy. You know what makes me happy? Me. Yes. What makes Rihanna you happy? makes me happy. Uh, Rihanna makes Rihanna. Rihanna. I think she makes everybody happy. Makes happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's in New York. Come by. Oh anytime. my God, she's just drop out of house. She, look at her. She's fab. She's beautiful, but she's adorable at the same time. She's sexy. Yes. She seems mm -hmm. authentic. Yeah. yeah. You know so I mean? odd. So she's just odd. fabulous. She's from Barbados. I love her. I love everything. her. So I love her. last night she was in New York, literally blocks away from here. Uh -huh. so I'm so upset. I did not get invited. Rihanna, we're going to talk about it. But. She did her Fenty pop-up in Ooh, New York right. with the new fashions uh -huh. for the Fenty LVMH line. And people love and her stuff, yes, right? The little highlighter I, stick. Exactly. I personally think sometimes girls wear too much of it. Yes. Really? Like when you're walking on the street and you can see like a big <laughs> swoop. It's, it's like, like you've done too much. I'm not a professional much. makeup artist, right. but it's a little bit too much. It's a little much. too yeah, much. I should yeah. see it. Like but, like, but the cool yeah. part of yesterday's launch was that she really made sure that all women felt included. And so the mannequins were full-figure mannequins. Love which nice. is the first thing you've ever seen ever. Nice. So, but it was yeah, like but both figures are so big now. Exactly. I mean, but I've been working in Atlanta. Uh -huh. You know, I've gotten more booty since I've been in Atlanta. All right now. Green <laughs> shrimp and grits. Yeah, that'll do like that. You know what I mean? Waffle but, House. But, but people are getting booty. Yeah. Yes. So, Always. I mean, full figures are in. Absolutely. Oh, I, we but love this it. is the first time we've seen a mannequin I, that a reflects mannequin. that. Yeah. But that's yeah. good that a right. mannequin reflects what's coming. But this current. is just another sign of Rihanna literally or, setting the standard for every industry she right. enters that in. She's so, amazing. I'm just yeah. so proud yeah. of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Remember yeah. when they told her she couldn't be big? They were like, Rihanna, you cannot Rihanna can be whatever she wants to be. Whatever she Whatever. wants to be. Thigh meat, ankle meat, all the body parts. 
Love yourself. And we're waiting. And Rihanna doing it. Exactly, but we're still waiting for that album. Uh, it's not gonna happen. Okay. She <laughs> but, <laughs> we, we work 600 million, you don't rush the album. Not gonna happen. Exactly. Anymore. I keep like, telling y'all it's not gonna happen. Well, she she wait for it. do it when she's ready, too. Yeah, like, isn't that, ready. you know what I mean? Yeah. But I'm speaking of music, we uh, will have a fun game because we want to bring guys. Oh, okay. And so we have this game that we do now called Pass the Ox. It's a new game. So we're basically, yes. So we're basically going to give three songs, okay. and you will choose uh -huh. a song out of the three that you play, okay. skip, or delete. Okay. Okay. Do so the know. first up uh -huh. is City Girls Act Up. Okay. Okay. Uh, Patti LaBelle, If You Only Ooh. Knew, and Beyonce Flawless. Which one are you Don't keeping? Don't let us down. Oh, well, well, I'm keeping Beyonce all okay. the time. Okay. 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 And I'm going to keep Patti LaBelle. Well, you gotta skip. You, you gotta, gotta skip oh, one. You gotta skip one. You gotta yeah. skip one. One you have to delete. One you can skip, and one you one, can play. Okay, game. I wanna play Beyonce. Okay, play Beyonce. Here we go. Oh man. Yeah. I know. yeah. Oh now that's hard. Right. I feel like I know which one you wanna skip. I know. Do you know? I know which one you wanna skip. As soon as I sat down, you and I were like, <laughs> right, yeah, we were here. We were here. Oh man. It's okay to skip. You know what? It's okay oh, to God, skip. But I love Patty. But I can't. Oh, God! I'm done. Face to face. Well, you know what? I'm doing ambitions now, right? I'm okay. doing a show. And, okay, my character, my character yes. is a best friend. Yes. And my best friend in college broke the girl code. She oh. broke girl code. She so, broke girl so code? Yeah, 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 and she, so I'm skipping girl code. Okay. Skipping yeah, girl code. Yeah, that's a good way. She skipped girl code, I so love, I'm skipping girl I love code. How you or should I keep that. girl code? No, you should delete girl code. You okay, got, delete, you might have to delete it. Delete girl code. Right. I You're going to skip Patty and play Beyonce. Am I playing this game right? You're yes. playing it right. You're doing yes. it right. You skip Patty. I'm just letting you know. I know. It's okay. Is. We're gonna go I definitely don't want to delete right. Patty. Right. Yeah, well, that ain't as happening. long as you can't delete, she's still in. But today, yeah. she's, in she's the, gonna get. The the I'm eyes. keeping okay. Drake all the time. Okay, you got only you're keeping oh, God's no. plan. But you, oh, I love other, God's plan. I'm playing so Drake, God's, God's plan. plan. I'm playing God's plan. That makes me happy. You want skip to the TLC? I, I love TLC, but God's plan just makes God's plan. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna be happy. I gotta play it. I gotta play it all the time. Okay, so then you're skipping baby, 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 and deleting. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 here? That one? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm deleting Guns N' Roses. Oh, I man. love TLC, though. Love TLC. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the right. last round. Let's do one more round of Pass the Here we Ops. go. The next ones are Christina Aguilera, Jenny in the her. Bottle, uh -huh. Fall by Davido, and then Mob Deep, Shook Ones. All right, now, I know you guys, so you, you might got a little street or done. Uh, up in there, shook here. one, uh, uh, <laughs> up in there, boom, with the uh, and the uh, Well, let's the play back. that. Okay, let's you want to play whatever that was? Let's play that. Let's play that. Let's play that. Let's go. Part two. Oh, man. Which I one? like Get. Christina Aguilera. Um, for, I, I'm going to... Oh God! I'm, DeVito, I feel, you getting rid of Devito? Uh, yeah, I don't no, know. Seriously, no, I, I taking this too. About, I love, I love Christina Aguilera, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm delete. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna delete her. She's wonderful, and I'm. I'm, I'm you gonna skip Devito? Yeah. And, yeah. and delete Christina. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. you did so well. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. You did good because because this is this is the hard part. Those okay. games are like yeah. that game, like Smash, Marry, Kill. That like no matter what, it's really bad. Yeah. You did good. Good. As long as I didn't delete Patty, you promise I didn't I was, delete, no, you delete just Patty? Her. Okay, that's right. I, I, that's she's okay. still in there. She's still in there. You yeah. might want to listen to it tomorrow. You can still go back to Skip. Right, you can go back to it. You can go back to it. All right, so there's some other stuff we want to talk about that's going on in the news. What are we talking about in the news? Talking about, of course, Juneteenth is today. This Happy is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. We free? We, we free. Yeah. are free. Absolutely. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> also, <laughs> Arizona, Thank you. there's an Arizona family in a viral arrest video that wants the police officers fired. Yes. Once again, we keep seeing these videos um, where young people are being attacked by police, assaulted mm -hmm. by police. I guess the question for me, and of course, these police, police officers are being looked at now, but they may get desk duty. Mm -hmm. They may not get, you know, police officers rarely get fired. Right, for, for yeah. Mm -hmm. What can we, I, I, I almost worry that, we're, that we see so much of it that we, we've become immune to it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's like, it's like shootings in schools or yeah, places. Right. I think we are becoming immune. But what can we do? I mean, have you thought about this? I yeah. mean, I've got two, you know, brown yeah. children yeah. So, that, are, that are male, and it, it scares me to death, quite honestly. It's, I always tell my older son, you can't take the shortcut home. You can't drop, you know what I mean? Right. You yeah. can't do what maybe some of your friends yeah. can do. Yeah. And so, I, oh, I'm not to no, interrupt, no, no. but I don't know if you, if anyone has seen the video, it's but crazy. watching the video, uh, a, a little girl four takes, years old. Four years, four years, old, years old, takes a Barbie out, you know, by mm -hmm. mistake, takes it out of the store, and the police surround the whole family with guns. No You know, way. get your effing ends up. No way. Yeah, yeah. whole family guns. with guns really? for a toy that was taken out from a little girl. From a, from a little girl. And, and the I, irony 
have a Barbie. A Barbie. 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 American, this American mm -hmm. dreamy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the but thing about us. it is, yeah. I remember, I've done that so many times, and I can, yeah. like, and not on purpose, I'm not a thief. Oh, but, yeah. right. but I've done that as a kid. I remember my mom used to say, like, y'all used to walk around the mall with y'all strollers and just, like, go through Toys R Us right. and just take right. things. Right. And right. I would be like, well, hold up now. Right. Where, why are you leaving? Right. Right. And so I can only imagine the trauma that baby is going to face, mm -hmm. the trauma the family is going Good to fit. face, yeah. just because of adult, like literally probably adult. $12. Yes, but the thing is, we as Americans and as citizens and all being together should all be feeling that trauma, exactly. which right. circles back to what you're saying. Right. Now we're immune to it. It's exactly. like no big deal anymore. That's exactly, especially when it's brown children. Yeah. Because it's almost as if we say, well, this is this is normal for your life. Mm -hmm. It's like school shootings, right? Mm -hmm. When they happen in, in white schools, we say this shouldn't happen here. Right. It shouldn't happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, every, no one should children. feel unsafe. Exactly. And yeah. like you didn't steal stuff on purpose. Sometimes I did. Oh, yeah. you know, but, <laughs> I grew up, I grew up, sold things on I, I, grew, I grew up different. Hey, right. I grew up he's different. A, he's big. But, but yeah, that's something. I mean, sold my script yesterday. Taking, like, he's so my from the right. giant, from the right. grocery store. Right. Right. Mom yeah. said I can't get it. But, but little pies can take right. it. Right. Yeah. right. And, yeah, exactly. We all yeah. took stuff. Yeah. But I guess my point is, even if you take stuff, that doesn't have to be the response. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that response can lead to someone dying. Mm, yes. Someone jumps Quit. the wrong way. Somebody mm -hmm. gets scared. The father reaches to protect his child. A mother reaches to protect That's the it. child. Mm -hmm. And someone gets shot. And they'll say, well, you shouldn't have stole the toy. And mm -hmm. that, that becomes the logic of where we end up. Yeah, we died over a Barbie doll. Exactly. At twelve ninety nine, yeah. for Come like on. But my thing, is, my question is, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you know, I had this sensibility of when Barack became president that we had gotten, we'd, we'd gone somewhere. We'd gotten so far. Yeah. You mentioned Juneteenth. We've, we've come so far. And all of a sudden, it's like, like, what happened? Like the brakes of like we've gone backwards. I don't understand what. I think it's happened. both. I think I think we've gone backwards in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, but I think in many ways this moment mm -hmm. just puts to the surface what we already knew. Yeah. Most of these hate groups that are rising up were already there. Mm -hmm. Right. And when we look at the police-involved shootings. A lot happened under Barack Obama's watch yes. too. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's one of those things where I think America was uh, inspired by his presidency. Mm -hmm. Yes, for sure. For sure. And, which is a great thing. And to be able to look at those children in that White House and be able to look at that family mm -hmm. and say, oh my God, something's it was possible. Eight years. It, was it was beautiful. Yeah. It was beautiful. But it didn't change the realities on the ground for no. a lot of us. And so now the era of Trump is, is in many ways uglier for us. Mm -hmm. But in some ways it lays bare what the problem is. Right. Because now those, those people are coming out of the woodworks. They feel emboldened to march in Charlottesville. You know what? I've got, I've got a mom that I feel feel, you know, looking at her is relatively young, who uh, grew up in Lexington, was born in Lexington, Kentucky, and um, moved to New York, then went back to Lexington, Kentucky to get to know her father. And she has a theory, which is interesting, that she believes things, no matter what, how bad it seems, mm. are always getting better. So mm. this is a woman that, that said, you know, could, could, you couldn't eat at the counter at Woolworths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you could buy clothes somewhere, but you weren't allowed to try them on. Right. Or there were Saturday, Saturday nights at the movie theater mm -hmm. where black people could go, but you weren't allowed to go in the front door. You know, you had to go through the back door right. and up the wow. stairs. And it's hard to imagine to actualize that somebody you know that is so close to you actually experienced right, these right, things. Right. You know, I remember when Roots came out and it was like a big thing, right. but somebody that you know and love actually experienced. Yeah. So in her lifetime, to have seen a black president, Come to, so a lot of those victories, inching, yeah, right. and they're difficult. Yeah. But you know, with Colin uh, Kaepernick, you yeah. know, things are difficult. The growing, but perhaps we're just still inching forward. That and, and that that's a great point because a lot of people from different generations are celebrating the smaller victories. Mm -hmm. Like I can actually walk through a door and not be profiled and told to get out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can go see the movies mm -hmm. on my own fruition. I can ride any space on the bus mm -hmm. or public transportation mm -hmm. I want. And then when you realize, like. Yes, we have made all these victories, but people still getting killed in the street. Like that that is timeless. Mm -hmm. Us being killed and the mm -hmm. images of, of us being, you know, the disenfranchised and just impoverished and murdered, that is always still a poignant right. timeless thing. Right, well, we're experiencing right. the browning of America. Yeah, right? oh, for sure. Definitely. I mean, you know, we're in, in New York City, you know, all of my kids' friends are all a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. They all kind of look the same. Yep. 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 Chinese and black, white and black, Jamaican right. and whatever. Big ass gap you know commercial, what? yeah. 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 <laughs> they all got like, hair like this, right. and some's a little straight. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd like to believe, I don't know, maybe it's just the, you know, the idealist in me, but God is sort of working out racism, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. I, I feel like younger people, my children's friends, aren't thinking the way a certain group of people are thinking, yeah. you know? Right. But um, then we have the stories, like we had yesterday, where there, there was a Harvard kid, well, a kid who wanted to go to Harvard, mm -hmm. but they would not accept him because they found out he was writing words like, 
you know, N-word and, and all these things in his high school, like telling, putting out a Google Doc saying that they were like right. nigger jocks and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it was like. So then they rescinded his, so, his admission. Exactly. So this yeah. is a, a, this was a, a white 16 kid. year old was writing this. Right. And, and he and Harvard found out. Right. And so, so they it's took like, it back. Well, they, is, but they did the right thing. They did the exactly. right thing. Which they would not have done. That's where the solutions are, where people have decisions and they're able to actually say, this is wrong. You used your voice in this way. We're absolutely not going to accept that. I think that is the most. We that's have to make what, it unacceptable. That's smart. We that's have to make have it unacceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a comment coming on social media. Uh, Mik Micaiah Boston says, yes, there is finally a community for the black entertainment community Damn. that black people can fall back on. As a black woman, we have gotten denied so many times just because of our mm -hmm. skin color. Wow. Andy McDonald says, love you, Robin. Beautiful queen. I'm from Canton, Ohio. Oh, the people hi. love you, of oh. course. We've been loved. Yeah, and, and yeah, uh, always. <laughs> always. Always. That's always. a fact. Like, always. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about, so in my house, I actually have a, uh, a, a, a sh an actual shot from the set of you and Eddie at Boomerang. Mm. I just, your character in the film was so inspiring to me. I wasn't allowed to watch it when it first came out, but when no. I got older and was no. able to understand like how empowering it is to be able to choose your own like lanes mm -hmm. and to be an advertising exec, to see you mm -hmm. in that role mm -hmm. really changed my viewpoint of like all I could do. So mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you for that. Well, I didn't like the character. You were in well, you mad. I was also, mad. Also, also I, I didn't, I didn't like Jacqueline story, until like last Why? year. You were mean. You know, but man. Jacqueline was giving thing. every y'all a taste of y'all medicine. And and I that, think that's what I like. So, so right. it was the switch up, right? Yeah. I mean, right? It's, it's like a woman doing what a man does, right? If I remember the movie correctly. Yeah. yeah. Why, yeah. So why that, come you don't like it, Mo? So, here, so, so here's how I <laughs> understand. We don't like it either when it happens to us. No, so. Thank you. Understand. Eddie was getting a taste of his own medicine. Oh, you, so your character completely turned his around, right? right? In this way. I mean, to the point... She was him. Right, he wanted to be held yeah. in bed. You weren't calling him back. Right. I mean, you had him... You, you reverse, reversal of a dog, right? Yeah. That, that, yeah. Was, that was mean. He did spend a lot of money on those tickets. Oh, when oh. you left him at the theater. Right. Oh, but you know... You I blew mean, him off. You treated yeah. him like... Yeah. You, 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 you have sex with him. And you, she you, stood him up. You, she stood him up. You stood him off. You left him money on the nightstand. You definitely... No, I get it. And I think for a long time, I thought of you as... I thought of your character. Right. As a bad person, right? Yeah. Who, was, who was just as bad? I mean, I thought he, I thought Marcus was a dog, but I thought right. y'all were both dogs. So she's a dog. No, no. You said she's bad. So he, he's a dog and Ooh. she's bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. At this. Well, I'm your hot I need another sip. Your mouth's getting a little dry. Go ahead. Yo, yo, it is. And I love I that. Didn't say I don't anything. Think that. But, but Rob, those was my backsliding days. So. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, my point was, I used to hate the character. Okay. And then I was actually talking about the movie not too long ago with one of my close friends, and she's, mm. you know, a hardcore feminist and she, and brilliant scholar, right? And she, we were talking to her, and she was like, she was walking me through why I didn't like your character. Oh, oh tell me. And then she eventually, uh, I, I came to realize I didn't like your character just because you were as sexually free and liberated, and, and liberated as, mm -hmm. as, as, a man, as a male character. Mm -hmm. And I could accept it for him and not for you. So exactly. I, it took me a long time to appreciate that character. Exactly. So, and there is still, so, you know, we've talked about a little bit of our issues as black people, mm -hmm. but then you have us sitting here as black women. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then there's, there's, a, there's this double thing that we've exactly. got to deal with being black women. Yeah. Yes, and I'm in my 20s, and I think watching you in your 20s, I was like, wait, I can just date and just do what I want. Like, I don't yeah. have to be who people think that I am or, or stay in one lane or, or put all my eggs in one basket if I'm not ready to. Uh -huh. And I think watching you, you were the first, one of those first characters that came out the gate and was like, I'm a boss. I remember when Eddie saw you walking into the building and, and he was like, whoa, I'm yeah. gonna, But then that's if you easy. think about it, like, how bold of him. You know, right. you know what I mean? To to create these characters. Right. Mm -hmm. that's, you know? that's, that's true. Yeah, and yeah. I, th I think I had never really even realized it till this moment. How courageous of Eddie, you know? Yeah. And I've, I mean, I've known Eddie for a while, so it was so nice to get to actually work with him. I was in my sophomore year at Sarah Lawrence before I really was committed to acting. I was still pre-med at Sarah Lawrence, and I had been acting, but I never thought of it in terms of, like, career. a career. I just started thinking about that as acting as a career, like, six months ago. I've accepted <laughs> this. <laughs> this is what I do. Let's go, Liz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and he had just gotten Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Um, so it was an interesting time for both of us. I had really immersed myself in acting. So we'd known each other for a while. So to get to a point where then you're in a movie with somebody, like in our in our like we had a bed scene and we've got like candy yeah. under the pillows and right. we're kissing, 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 and then yeah. like eating Twizzlers <laughs> and, and catching up on whatever. And it was nice to work with a friend. I think a lot of the chemistry people feel from our characters yeah. is because we have known.
known each other for so long. Right. Wow. He could kind of relax in me and I could relax in him, which is, I think, a did, big did part you, of creating scenes. Uh, no, I, I love the fact that you could say, hey, we had Twizzlers. We, the, had, yeah. we had so much candy under our yeah. pillows in bed, it was crazy. Yeah. That's, but, yeah. but what what other, like, I would love to know, because that's one of my favorite movies. Uh -huh. Ever. Ever. <laughs> you know, you, I'm sure, had an amazing, fun on set. And I'm sure everybody did. But what are some of those things that we probably didn't see that didn't make the movie, like the bloopers or the fun oh, things? Oh, I don't know. I, I really, I can't, and it was such a long time ago. I don't yeah. know. I know, I know for me, the thing that I really take away that is that I was working with a friend of mine. I mean, yeah. it was like, who and could a bunch ever of Jesus, imagine? Right? Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. that time. Yeah. Alan Greer, yeah. literally, Halle yeah, Berry. Chris, Chris Rock, Chris and, I Rock. Are, and I are dear friends, and, and yeah. we all like, kind of met at that time. And But I hadn't thought about that moment, or the courage it must have taken for him. Mm. Right. So they, okay, yeah. maybe do what I've done to women. You know what I mean? Like, let me turn the table, so. It, it's pretty Thank progr you for pointing that out. I'm happy to. Yeah. I had a revelation. <laughs> Did you see the new Boomerang? I have not seen it. Okay. No, no. It, still must be a, it must be an honor, though, just to know that there's a whole other generation of, of talent that looks to that as a marker. Yes. Well, it's you know. funny because I ran into Eddie somewhere, like at an improv or something, like a few years back, and he said, hey, Simone, which is what he always calls me in my middle name. Hey, Simone. I said, yeah. He said, we did a classic. Who knew? We've done, like, a classic. <laughs> yeah. And it was really sweet. I loved it. That's pretty yeah. dope. Will you want to wait to another classic on OWN? Yeah! That's right. Oh, my God. Yeah, I love this. I love this show so much. And I think if you like Jacqueline, she's interesting mm -hmm. because she's sort of like Jacqueline, but with a little sense of humor. Right. Um, um, and I love her. So mm -hmm. we talked a little bit about Essence Atkins, who plays Amara Hughes, and love this girl her. code, yeah. and how they come to be. And, and my character is fighting in many respects for the empowerment of women. She wants to take over her dad's law firm. Well, let's look at it. And you got a clip? Yeah, you got a clip? clip? Okay. There it comes. Oh, I'm serious, Daddy. You've been talking about retiring for years. Why not now? The firm's doing well, and I can take over the day-to-day -day management. Uh, you can't even keep that bottom feet of a husband of yours in line, and you want me to trust you with my entire law firm? The only reason I'm still married to that bottom feeder is because you talked me out of divorcing him. Oh, so it's my fault? You said that having a son-in-law in the mayor's office would be good for business, that the Carlisles would run the city. All I had to do was play my part as a dutiful first lady. Well, I did what you asked. Evan's mayor. And now I want more than, than photo ops and, and ribbon cutting ceremonies. It's time you handed Carlisle Perkins over to me. You always oh, so strong. Oh, oh, that's nothing. I know. I want to hide. No, no, no. This character is so naughty. She is so naughty and so delicious. Yes. Mm. And she does it with like a wink and a nod. And you're going to hate her and love to hate her and wish you were her. You know, for a while before I started doing Stephanie Lancaster, mm -hmm. I always said I wanted like a little sprinkle of Cardi B in oh. me. Mm. Just a little sprinkle. A little I just bit. feel like okay, I just cool. need a little dash of okay. Cardi B. And But now I'm like so glad. I feel like every woman needs a little Stephanie Lancaster. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I missed the premiere She's last wonderful. night, but everyone was talking about so it. So good. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's so, it's so good. And yeah. it's good to, it's nice to feel that way about a project. Yeah. You know, where you're like so proud to be a part of it. Yeah. And then, you know, coming, I did Women of Brewster Place with Oprah yes. years back. So to Another come classic. back to yeah. right now, like now she has her own network. Right. right. You know? And I took some time off to be with my boys and raise them. And to now have Oprah be a part of my kind of re entry oh, again yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Uh, it's like paying yes. attention to God, yeah. you know, staying in a place where you're like watching God do his thing. Wow. We're know? so excited for you. You, you. You're in a place in your career now where. You, you, you can take projects like this mm -hmm. on, and it's really exciting to see. And I've watched the, traject the trajectory of your career. Do you feel like, I guess what I'm asking is, do you feel understood as an artist in that, in, in that way? Oh, wow. You know, I, I've been so misunderstood mm -hmm. <laughs> that I've had mm -hmm. to sort of come to terms with that. Um, and I've had to really, you know, in my house, we kind of believe in the really real because I think we're dealing in times where I heard somebody say perception is reality. I kind of believe that reality is reality. Right. right. And I, you know, when people say your truth, I kind of believe that there's certain things that truth is truth. Right. Um, so one thing about taking time for me is, is it gave me a really sensibility of, first of all, a wonderful, great relationship with God, who's the only father I, I've ever had in my mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And also just kind of knowing myself and really what's important to me. And, and there was a time when I just finally realized I want to try to be the most successful person I can be, not necessarily right. the most successful Monetary, actress. Yeah. Um, I've got an amazing family, and um, I'm so glad that I've taken time. It's the most important job. I will ever do in my life being a mother to two young men and giving the world, hopefully, to loving 
husbands and fathers, and um, now kind of taking the time to circle back to myself and trying to have the courage to not hide behind the cloak of motherhood, but mm. pursue my own dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is all part of it, and it's just, it's really nice for me. What, what's the yeah. biggest thing you've been misunderstood, that, that, that the world's misunderstood about you? I don't know, it's hard to say. I, I think because I am good at playing certain roles, and people, like you even kind of slipped up and said, you, and it's like <laughs> right, you. Right, right, right. And it's not me. And, you know, gotcha, the, the person that I am, is my whole rhythm is so different than the women I play. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm nothing like Jacqueline. I'm nothing like Stephanie. I admire these women, but I haven't even grown to be her. I'd like to be her too. Like right. so, right. so many women I've met, like you changed me. I wanted to be like that. Me too. Yeah. You know, right. I'm actually nothing like yeah. it. Yeah. So I think people get a little confused about who I am, um, but. It's kind of nice, like my agent has me going live on Twitter or sitting Aww. here with people and, and for people just to get to know me and my rhythm. Yeah. Um, I so, love it. Yeah. And you've been, and I love that you've always been vocal about whatever you believe, from the mm -hmm. time when we met you when you were in your 20s mm -hmm. to now. And I know you were a part of the Me Too movement and the Ground Zero campaign with them, but one of the things that we're really big about, I think here, is talking about like equality and gender equality. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the biggest areas that we feel like disenfranchised mm -hmm. is with payment. So. Mm -hmm. How have you, in your uh, you know journey in your career, made sure that you always get what you absolutely deserve, like what you're worth? Well, or I, have I, you? I, 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 right. You know, you know, it's so hard to take on everything. It, right. You know, at least for for me, um, and I have tried to always be. I, the the word gets overused, authentic, but to really be mm -hmm. true to myself and and for me, what you see is what you get. Right. You know, so I've never really been a part of the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. quite honestly. Mm -hmm. Although I've had people say that I was the ground zero right, of the Me Too movement. Right, said something. Um, so there are certain things that I believe in. I, I, I believe, um, I love speaking to women um, and trying to empower them and uplift them and inspire them and be a shoulder to lean on. But a lot of that was also because of my, for my own healing. Right. So mm -hmm. in many respects, mm -hmm. me, it kind of started off as a very selfish thing. And I think when you start talking to people, you realize you're not alone. Right. Because sometimes when you're going through something, it feels like it's only you. So when you talk to somebody and you realize they're actually telling you the same story. What's happened to you has happened to them. And then it's happened to a bunch of people and you're not alone. Right. And for me, when I started talking to people or realized that maybe my voice could, could help somebody, it kind of gave purpose to what happened because I think sometimes you can be in a situation you're like, what the heck is, oh, why yeah, the yeah. heck is this I, happening to me? And yeah. you're holding on. And and then, you know, I was, I was with at an Oprah luncheon not too long ago and she was talking about her legacy or, and she thought, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm sure I don't remember verbatim, but um, mm -hmm. she was talking to Maya Angelou and, and she thought that she had her legacy and Maya said, nope, you don't necessarily have it yet. Mm. But... She said, yes, I do, and, and she, Maya explained to her that maybe her legacy, and I was so moved by this, would just be each and every time she uplifts someone. Yeah. And that really stuck with me because I almost feel, if I can borrow her legacy, that the thing that my purpose thus far in my life will be every time I can speak to someone. My agent always says, stop, keep it moving, keep it moving. But if just somebody talking to me or my sharing my story can yeah. help you through yeah. your difficult time, it, it lessens my load, mm. and, and I'm thinking, okay, then it was all for that. Is that hard in a business where, you, where you're separated? So, for example, uh, women are notoriously underpaid in Hollywood, uh -huh. and black women are extremely yes, underpaid. Yes, yes. Uplifting each other could mean communicating, talking to each other yes. about salaries, yes. talking to each other about... Yes. Is there that level of communication? Is there that network? I, I'm sure there is that network. I can honestly say I'm not a part of that mm. network. I know, you know, I was at the Essence Luncheon for the first time, the Oscar Luncheon, mm. and yes. I saw Regina King, who yes. I knew was going to win. Yes. I knew it. And we have the same pediatrician. So, <laughs> so it's like she's screaming adorable, for me. Right? We're like screaming out our doctor's names. You know? <laughs> you not know, the walk-up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're like, yeah, because we're just... You know, so for me, a lot of the women that I talk to we're, we're not really talking about salaries. I feel like I'm not doing something important right now. We're, a lot of the women I talk to, we're, we're talking about being mothers, which right. is a, has been such a big part of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love well, that. I, I think that because women are grossly underpaid mm -hmm. uh, more than men, I do feel like there should be, in my opinion, some like ballpark figure that we can show that each person is getting so that we can start addressing a lot of those issues. Right. Because I feel like, you know, if we are on the same bill, mm -hmm. and maybe even a leading woman, right, 
Y'all should be getting paid oh, well, way more. Uh, no, hands down, and don't don't misunderstand me. Right. Uh, yeah. Of course, we should be paid. You know, right. equal pay. Yeah, right. yeah and and now I want to be instrumental in getting right. that done. And, and yeah. part of, part of how they do it is by we've created these, these social rules like don't tell people how much you make. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is something companies do. Right. So right. that and they, they normalize it, so you think it's like taboo to do or almost gauche to do. Yeah. But they do that so that people and then they can hide behind. They can that. hide behind. Yeah. It. Right, right, exactly. Right, right, they, right. You can get fired for telling us about how much you make. Mm -hmm. When in fact, the best way to keep each other together and while we have unions mm -hmm. is for that very yeah. reason. Mm -hmm. So people in social are talking about that right now. Uh, let's check in and see what they say because we asked the question earlier. You know, should you tell your coworkers your salary? Fontella Monlin in Facebook says, "Heck no! <laughs> you keep your salary to yourself. That's you must cool. make more than everybody else." Right. Fontella. That's 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 no, never creates an issue. No, see. Y'all, it only creates an issue if somebody's not being paid fairly. If everybody's mm -hmm. being paid fairly, then there's no problem. Yes. I wish that I could mean, happen. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've, I can't tell you how many times I've, and it, even working here, but not this show, show particularly. Not black say, coffee. Not, <laughs> not, not black coffee. Not black coffee, but right. like, I've, I'm always paired with men, obviously. Yeah. Right. You know? right. They need a woman's voice. Right. They need a man's voice. And I can't tell you how many times I've been like, how much are you getting paid for the same work? Right. And it's literally either double or at least five at least yeah. 5% wow. more. Wow. And so I always yeah. think, like, okay, it would be different if we weren't doing the exact same job. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. then I look at the higher-ups, and I'm looking at who's in those meetings. And it's not that I take it personally, but I just want to challenge the people who do make the decisions to act like you you remember being in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Because right. a lot of people think because we're 20 and something mm -hmm. that we don't have bills. Right. I live in New York. <laughs> right. I got many right. bills. A Sally Mae doesn't yeah, care yeah. if I'm a man or a woman. She mm. wants her money. Right. And right. you deserve it. And, and I deserve and it. And I think men should stand up as well yep. right. and, and demand that, too. My co-star should get as much mm -hmm. as me. My co-host should get as much as me. Mm -hmm. My so-and-so should get as much as me. Mm -hmm. And if we don't do that, then we're also... Uh, you know, not, not holding on to Well, I questions. believe that across the board. I mean, and just kind of circling back to our other conversation, I, I have always said when men get involved in the conversation, mm -hmm. standing up for women, right. that's when things that's will when change. That's when changes get That's made. when change yeah. happens. Robin, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you. Yes. 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 I don't know we're out there watching. That's right. right. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all yes. hey, yes. hey, uh, can hey. watch Robin on Ambitions, Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central on On. Make sure you watch it. Also, watch Black Coffee. You can follow us on Please Facebook do. and Twitter. You, you can subscribe on YouTube. And you can watch us every watching. single day at 10 a.m. Eastern. Right now, we're going to roll over to The Refill. You can watch us on Twitter for a little more post-show conversation. Stay right here.